Let's talk about the Chiefs. Where do they go from here? Mahomes had 223 okay. passing yards. That's not exactly Patrick Mahomes textbook kind of a day had a rushing touchdown you, you mentioned the Kelsey fumble Marquez Valdez Scantling stepped up with a couple of catches for 71 yards I I mean I still think the Chiefs will be fine I, I you're not going to win every single game you're not going to to be the, the team that is just unstoppable there will be days where it doesn't go your way I still think they're good I mean I, if I had to bet on it I would say they end up being the number one seed in the AFC. When it's all said and done, I think they find yeah. their way to the top and Mahomes becomes the MVP and and the road to Arizona goes through Arrowhead. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, look, I expected the Chiefs to lose this game the entire week. For whatever reason, the Bengals seem to have the Chiefs number. And it's not even that the Chiefs played all that poorly. I mean, this play by Patrick Mahomes where he's kind of dunking on a defender. I mean, it's incredible. I'm glad it was, you know, still called a touchdown. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, probably you need to keep two hands on the football, though, if I'm going to be a little bit critical of somebody who I think is one of the best players of all time in the NFL already. But yeah, look, if you're the Chiefs, you still have everything in front of you and you're still going to be fine. I, I don't think that it was really some horrible, horrible thing that the Chiefs go into Cincinnati and they can't win. I mean, the, the Bengals are feeling really good about themselves right now and they're playing football with a high level of confidence and they're executing at a high level. So it was going to be one of those big boy, you know, you better strap up your chin strap a little bit tighter kind of day. And it just so happens that they didn't win it. So they had opportunities. They just didn't necessarily come through. I don't feel like the chiefs are, you know, somehow going to fall apart over this or anything. No, they have a decent schedule down the stretch. Oh, They've still got to be able to, I don't think games, they play any NFL but, teams the rest of the way. They play uh, the Broncos right. twice. So, twice? Well, okay. Let's but ride. you still have to defeat the Broncos defense. You got to defeat that defense. That that defense is still good. Now, they, they can't score more than 16 points. So, you're probably not going to beat Patrick Mahomes like that. And thank goodness we don't have to watch that game next week on Sunday night. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, NFL, for flexing that thing. Oh. But, you got a problem with 54 yeah, to 19 the Chiefs are going to be okay. That's what it's going to be next week. <laughs> Two straight weeks of 54 to 19. Uh, Scorigami. The first time ever 54 honestly, to 19 last night would be 54 to 19 again. I don't think they can score 54 it, against the Denver could. Broncos, but they don't need 54. They need four or five. They will not need yeah. 54. Yeah. yeah, no, you you don't even need 30 to defeat yeah. the Broncos. You just need to get to 24, and then you win this year against them. And frankly, I think Miami could run all over – the Los Angeles Chargers, but uh, that's probably a conversation for another day. Well, uh, but it still is a better game, a more exciting game, and it's a team that Way we more. haven't gotten to see very much of that we want to see. We want to see the Dolphins with a oh, healthy yeah. Tua Tonga Vailoa. The only time that, that we've seen them in the past this year, it was the Cincinnati game, which was horrific because of the injury, and then he was back for that Steelers game, and, and it was just, we were, it's like the whole game you're holding your breath, like, is he going to be okay? Is this going to work? And and it wasn't – the offense wasn't clicking the way that it is now. So that should be a great game. But the Chiefs and the Broncos, great decision by the NFL to slide that out of there. But the Chiefs have the Broncos, the Texans, the Seahawks, the Broncos, and the Raiders. Now, look, the Seahawks game should be interesting, exciting, an old AFC West mm -hmm. get-together. I think it was the Seahawks the day that Derek Thomas in Kansas City – racked up seven sacks and set the single game record. Dave Craig okay. was the quarterback of the Seahawks that day, if I recall correctly, and there's a chance I do not. They should not lose again. They'll be favored in every game, and they should win out and finish 14-3, and three. and I think that ultimately becomes enough. It's going to hold off the Bengals, who hold the tiebreaker right now, because they have four losses. Right. And uh, it, will, it will hold off the Bills, or catch the Bills, surpass the Bills. They need to get a game ahead of the Bills. The Bills have three losses. They need the Bills to right. lose one in order to take the one seed away from them. But I, Which I, think I can see happening. I think they're going to win the last five, and they're going to be 14-3, and three, and it's up to the Bills to do the same. If the Bills do the same, then the Chiefs have to go to whatever the name of the stadium is. You know, one thing I'm Highmark learning is— Highmark Stadium? It's Highmark. The, the stadium rights deals really aren't that good for business— <laughs> Because I can't remember the names of the stadiums. 
Like the the one in in Cincinnati, I couldn't remember. Is it Paycor? I only Paycor. know that because Paycor, we, saw it, we saw it on a graphic. Something I don't know. Paying too much because it's not giving you the brand awareness boom, boom. that you were looking for. Thank you very much. Let's take a break. Uh, when we return, the Vikings keep it rolling. Plus, plenty more coming from the 13th Sunday of the 2022 NFL regular season. We'll be right back. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.